At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. <laughs> Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! <laughs> Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absolutely Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <laughs> Should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a Gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Fenty! Well, we have what we came here for. Come before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> Swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be taking Morax's Gnosis now. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> Interesting. Mind if I join you? What ho? We meet again, Vagrant of Inazuma. <laughs> My retinue and I were just... The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. Who was that mage? She could not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir! Sir! Find them, and when you do... Another one? My lord! 
It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming. But so be it. Move out. Change of plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Are you deaf or just stupid? When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. standing beside you, the Traveler. Is Heal knowing and powerful now like Greater Lord Ruka Devada? No, I can't feel the same kind of divinity I felt from the Greater Lord. It seems that the Sages didn't get the chance to infuse the Divine Knowledge capsules into him. But even still, he has undoubtedly become a true god now. <sighs> so we're too late? The Balladeer has already... Already become a god? The Balladeer. A long bygone title. When my spirit ascended to divinity, I felt as if I had existed for the same number of epochs as heaven and earth. Looking back, the existence of what once called itself Kuni Kazushi appears infinitely small and ugly. triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. <laughs> if you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now. You need to get out of here. What? That guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... the God of Wisdom.
Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Hmm. Lady Farina? That's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Uh... The Archon of Natlan. A force to be reckoned with. The secret of the Ley Lines is no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled, what use is the Gnosis in your hands? I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. 